You are looking at the launch pad at Site 31 of the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, where a Soyuz 2.1A booster is fully fueled, ready to launch 23 minutes from now to carry an unpiloted Soyuz spacecraft to orbit en route to the International Space Station for an automated docking in the wee hours Saturday morning, a critical test flight for Roscosmos in its ability to start using this 2.1A booster and the Soyuz spacecraft for crew launches beginning next March. This rocket is fully fueled, ready to go. No humans on board, but there is a humanoid robot sitting in the commander seat in the center seat of the uh, descent module of the Soyuz spacecraft, a robot uh, that comes with the affectionate name of Fyodor. It is fully equipped with sensors, ready to collect data, and which will be brought inside the International Space Station for five days of experiments next week, and will return to Earth in that Soyuz descent module for a parachute-assisted landing in South Central Kazakhstan in the pre-dawn hours of September 7th, Kazakhstan time, the afternoon of September 6th. T-minus 22 seconds and counting. The uh, second uh, umbilical has now retracted. This initiates engine sequence start. We have engine ignition. Turbo pumps up to flight speed and liftoff. Liftoff of the unpiloted Soyuz MS-14 spacecraft on a test flight to pave the way for future crew launches to the International Space Station. Soyuz spacecraft now arcing out uh, to the northeast, heading for an orbit 51.6 degrees inclined to the International Space Station for a rendezvous and docking early Saturday morning. First stage engines performing nominally according to the blockhouse in Baikonur. Forty-four seconds into the flight, good roll pitch and yaw program. Fifty seconds into the flight, everything proceeding nominally. The off pitch and roll all reported to be nominal. Good reports from the blockhouse in Baikonur. First stage engines performing as advertised. Beautiful view of the uh, Soyuz MS-14 atop uh, the 2.1A booster initiating this test flight. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight. Standing by for first stage shutdown. We have staging. Two and a half minutes into the flight, everything proceeding normally. We have jettison of the uh, launch uh, shroud. This view now from the upper stage camera, looking back down uh, the longitude of the uh, Soyuz 2.1A booster, approaching the three minute mark into the flight, everything proceeding normally. The uh, Soyuz traveling uh, 5,600 miles an hour, 58 miles in altitude, 
100 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, heading right down the pike. Second stage engines uh, firing normally, everything looking good. Three and a half minutes into the flight, engines are up and running off of the second stage, looking good. Good vehicle stabilization reported uh, from the blockhouse in Baikonur. Five minutes of powered flight remaining. The vehicle reported to be rock steady and stable. Four minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. Second stage performance is by the book so far, according to the blockhouse in Baikonur. The uh, guidance navigation and control system, the performance of the engines, all being evaluated by Russian space officials in this test flight to set the stage for the launch of future crews on this 2.1A booster beginning next March. We have second stage shutdown. Third stage up and running. We have third stage lower skirt jettisoning. Third stage up and running. Three and a half minutes of powered flight remaining on this third stage of the 2.1A booster. Again, this booster has been used since 2015 to launch unpiloted progress resupply vehicles. This, the first flight of a Soyuz vehicle, a manned vehicle. However, no crew on board today. Eight minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, about 25 seconds of powered flight remaining. Standing by, and we have third stage shutdown and third stage separation. And there go the uh, solar arrays. And uh, the solar arrays and navigational antennas have all deployed as planned a flawless climb to orbit for Soyuz MS-14 in its test flight, the first launch of a Soyuz vehicle on the 2.1A booster. Back inside the descent module, this is uh, Skybot, or Fyodor, as it is affectionately known. He uh, made it to orbit and is uh, en route to the International Space Station where he will be brought inside the Poisk module next week for five days of testing and experiments uh, by Alexander Skvortsov and Alexei Ovchinin before being returned uh, to the center seat, the Soyuz commander seat, if you will, in the uh, descent module of the Soyuz spacecraft. Ah, and you can see uh, the commanding uh, as it moves its head upward. <laughs> 